The geology of Great Britain has shaped our nation. For generations, the geology of the UK has provided an abundant supply of natural resources that has shaped our country and both the location of our industry and our cities, providing employment opportunities and wealth across the entire country. The salt marl that forms the Cheshire Plain provides the raw materials for the UK's chemical sector. Coal in the Midlands fueled the steel industry. Aberdeen flourished because of oil and gas from the North Sea. Once again, an opportunity presents itself to strengthen both the UK economy and our energy security. Resources that lie beneath our feet could create employment, fueling our homes and our manufacturing. Gas-rich shale is determined by the land's history and geology in very specific parts of the UK. This example licensed area shows a 10 km by 10 km stretch of land, which could be accessed with 10 to 12 multi-well pads. This may sound like a lot, but considering the footprint of each pad, the impact will be surprisingly small. Highlighted areas also indicate where drilling would not happen due to surface constraints. Here we can see example site locations. A suitable site is remarkably compact, thanks to a combination of multi-well pads and horizontal drilling, which reduces the amount of land required to produce the gas needed to fuel our country. Let's take a look at a multi-well pad in closer detail. During the development stages, a site would be the size of around two football pitches. But when completed, this would actually reduce to the size of a couple of tennis courts. As with any construction operation, trucks carrying equipment and supplies will be moving on and off-site, all of which will be carefully planned and managed to minimise inconvenience to communities. The site is first prepared for the delivery of equipment and supplies. Protective membranes are put in place and bonds are constructed to minimise any impact of the site. The drilling rig arrives and is constructed on site. Wells are drilled to a depth of approximately 3,000 metres vertically and up to 2,000 metres horizontally through the shale layer. This depth is the equivalent height of 30 big bends. Multiple layers of steel and concrete reinforcement, called casing, isolate the well from the surrounding rock and protects the water table. Once the drilling is completed, the rig is dismantled and removed from site. Fracking equipment is then brought on site. Frac fluid, consisting mainly of water and sand and a small number of chemical additives, is pumped into the well at high pressure. The mixture penetrates into the shale rock layer several kilometres underground and opens the tiny cracks a few millimetres wide. When the fracking equipment is removed from the site, the well heads remain. These are less than two metres tall and will very quickly blend in with the surrounding landscape as the well continues to produce gas quietly for up to 20 years. The gas is exported from the site by a buried pipeline to a receiving and treatment facility and from there into the National Gas Network, supplying clean natural gas to homes and industries. As you can see from this aerial view, once construction is complete and the wells are in production, they almost disappear into the landscape.